Jessica Clare. I come from Staten Island, New York. My ex-husband, Billy, was involved with the Irish crime family. He was bringing home money, but he was in and out of jail. So after a few years, I decided I was going to leave my husband. What the hell's going on up here? Well, you look nice. Like always. Thank you. And I look like a dirtbag. Like always. Thank you. <laughs> wow, you're really this... sweating. No help? <sighs> you know I do everything by myself. If you knew Billy and you knew me, we came from uneasy childhoods. And we just were looking for, I guess, that love and that connection that we didn't really get at home. It's unfortunate that the marriage didn't work out, but we have three great, beautiful children, Matthew, who was 25, and my set of twins, Taylor and Joe, that are gonna be 23. The kids really didn't see much of Billy growing up. And whatever happened over the years, maybe because of the street, they went down the wrong path. And I've always been the one that jail, I've always been the one to answer that middle of the night phone call, and I've always been the one to get in my car no matter what time it was and go running for my kids. I want to talk to you about Joe and Taylor. Okay. Joe's getting in trouble, and Joe's getting into fights, and Taylor's getting arrested. Know. And you know, know, you are their father. You missed a lot of stuff growing up, and I feel like you should become a part of their lives, and they should have you on their side, too. Yeah. I got all my kids, the girlfriends, the boyfriends. You better stand in that box and break. Right? You threw me a beat in the ring yesterday. Yeah. This dinner is very, very important. I did my part. I have all my kids here, all together, waiting on Billy, and I really do hope that he shows up and does the right thing. We finally a whole family together. Salute to uh, 100 years. There you go. <laughs> he loves that saying. He loves that. I sometimes think that I feel bad for you because me and Joe. You should feel bad for me every day. You guys put me through a lot of <laughs> You drove me crazy. I don't know how I got through it. I really don't. These are my twins. Oh, yeah. Taylor and Joe. Evil twin, good twin. Heartache, headache. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do if they weren't here. I gotta watch myself, because if I'm out one night and a girl wants to fight me or something and I hurt her, then my whole case will reopen. But that's what I tell your brother. You get up and you walk away from it. It doesn't make you less of a woman or a man to get up and walk away. Taylor and Joe made a lot of the wrong decisions. Joe being in trouble with the law, never actually going to jail. Taylor actually spending some time in Rikers Island. She was charged with assault and robbery. It became a felony. She saw a whole different lifestyle in there, and I think that's what really straightened her out. I just want to thank all of you for all your support over the year that I've been through. You have a good boyfriend. You, you're living a good life right now. I'll give you the credit, Ma, because of you. <laughs> <laughs> There was a reason why God gave me children and made me the mom. And you're doing it all by yourself. I'm doing it all by myself. All by yourself. Once again, Billy let me down. I didn't let them know, but he let the kids down too. It's always me being both parents. No matter what goes on in your children's life, you have to be there for them. I wasn't gonna let these Staten Island streets eat you up. Hell no. I'm sorry, I thought you said by the pier. That's why I was waiting over there. So what's going on? Where were you for the dinner? To be 100% honest with you, I, you know, I went out Friday night. I didn't get home until Sunday. It was like 12 p.m. and I was out cold and didn't come. And I'm sorry. That's a crock of shit. I made sure everybody was going to be there. You said you were going to come. Thank God I didn't tell them that you were coming, because if I would have, that would have just been another letdown added to the list of everything else. I watched Billy go in and out of jail. I watched Billy make a lot of mistakes. Why he chose to be the dad that he has all these years, I don't know, but he is the same man that he was 20-something years ago. I just thought that when we were all together under one roof, I could take a step back and you could take some of the pressure off of me. I'm trying to be mom and dad all the time. Now Joe is growing up following the footsteps and we need to make it come to an end and we need to stop it. Before a golf a bit, something happens to my son. That's why I wanted the dinner, but you didn't show up and, and you should really be talking about this with the kids. I and will, I, I will. Just, you know, I try to make amends and it didn't work out. And I really have just had it at this point. I don't want to be involved in it anymore, ever, ever. What's up? What's going on, Joe? No. My relationship with Joseph and Taylor is not where I would want it to be. They don't want to hear from me.
I'm glad you came to eat with me. There's some things we need to talk about. I'm happy we're back on good terms. Correct? Because we're spending time together. Exactly. You know, I'm worried about your sister. And I've been trying to tell her, you got to make up with daddy. You know, it's just getting together seems to be a problem. It's hard to get through to her. It's not that. It's that I'm dad, and daddy's a guy that's going to come down hard on you. Yeah. And that's what she don't want. It just needs to get better. But the main reason why I wanted to see you tonight is because of your behavior and things that I want you to start doing, because I know you look up to me. And you look up to me for all the wrong reasons. And you know I made a lot of mistakes in my life. And you know I don't want you to make those mistakes. <sighs> Joe, you got to get your together. I wish I could have my father around. Up until you were 13 years old, you were with me all the time. You lived a life. And look at how I ended up laying in the street, dying. Stabbed 14 times. And my son and my wife were home, and I was in the streets. Is that where you want to end up? I come from you. I know how to survive, Dad. Trust me when I tell you. You don't get it. There's nothing good about the bad things that I've done in my life. I mean, I know from growing up the way I did that you basically have to make your own mistakes. It's embarrassing how many times I've been put in handcuffs. It's embarrassing how many times I've had to post bail so I didn't end up on Rikers Island or Brooklyn House. This is what I want you to understand. Like, we're not guaranteed tomorrow, Joe. So I know that. You know you're just like me. And you're the one that scares me. I'm going to be the, the man you want me to be. You just better not disappear on me. I'm very nervous to meet my dad. You know, I get skeptical. I don't want to set myself up, but I just hope this conversation goes smoothly, the right direction, so we can just focus on Joe. How are you? Good. You look beautiful. Thank you. You hungry? Yes, yeah, starving. If it doesn't go right this time, I can't keep dwelling on my dad and what could be. I got a whole life to live and to make. So if you don't want to be a part of it, fine. Do it over there, but don't call me. Because I tried too. I'm not going to try anymore. I think this is our first straight together. Mm hmm Time's so, um, flying. You're doing well for yourself. I don't have to worry about you. Like I got to worry about Joseph. All right, he's going to be living with me for God knows how long. He needs, like, guidance. But at the same time, getting arrested is not right. what I wanted. I think he needs like a little, like a, he like a needs, goal motive. I don't know. He needs to stop acting like he's 14. Oh, dad, look, I'm a big shot. You're not a big shot. You don't no. make no money. You're not making no. money. You're not nobody. Not what goes on with this family? I, all I want to do is build a relationship with you both. I wish we had a relationship my whole life. But I know that, and I'm sorry for that, but I made so many mistakes in my life. That I, there's nothing that I could say be proud of than the fact that you're my daughter and I love you. I wish I knew what would make mine and Taylor's relationship better. She's my firstborn daughter, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for her. I think the main issue is us really not spending time together. But so much time goes by that there's resentment on both sides. The only way that we're going to make our relationship better is that uh, if we are seeing each other every day, even if it's for an hour. I do have resentment towards you, a little anger, because past times where you wouldn't show. What about my feelings? I don't want that happening. I, baby, your feelings are everything to me, but we can't deal with yesterday. No, yesterday I'm not. is gone. I'm not. Today is now, and we're having a good time today. Yes. And what we make of tomorrow is tomorrow. That's the future. Right. But what happens when the future is not there? How are you going to feel? And I just want to spend some time with you. I'm willing to build a relationship with my dad now. Before, I was always hesitant. I think that's because I held a lot of, you know, hurt. And when I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt now, and I'll work on that relationship now. I just want to spend time with you, that's all. Me too. I do. My daughter, as your father, I'd like to experience, being that I never got to experience your whole life, I'm asking, before you go out and get married and have children and have your life of your own, that's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for. See my kids. That's all I, I just want to see you. 
Tomorrow's never guaranteed. God forbid something happens. So what are we looking at, Mr. Feldman? You will not serve time. Like I told you the last time I saw you in the office, stop drinking and stop smoking. Otherwise, the judge was gonna throw your ass in the can, as you well know. I didn't get any jail time. I didn't get any probation. I walked out a clean slate. I had my family with me too, so it really was a good day for me. What you're doing is drunken foolishness. I told you, a year in Rikers Island is five years. I went through exactly what he's going through right and now. So that wasn't enough to learn? Now I see the bigger picture. But you know what, Joe? You know now. Now you make it better. That's it. You, I mean, this is like your last chance. Or that's yeah. it. There oh, is yeah, no nah, other. This is the last thing right here. Bottom line is I'm not going to go back to Florida right now until you're all straight and squared away because you obviously need me. So I'm going to stay here until we figure out what's going on with you. I know what I got to do. I'm going to walk the straight lines. Yep. And, yep. Uh, you have to. There is no ifs, ands, and buts. You have to. No, nah, it's got me shooken up. You look so beautiful. Thank you. I miss you. So much, baby. What's mm, going on? Nothing. Let me take my glasses off so I can see you. Please do. I know I'm in for it right now. This is how I feel. You wanted to fix things with us. I listened to you, and we met up. We talked. You okay. wanted to talk to me with Alec. I came with Alec. With where our relationship is. You should just bite your tongue. You should have just said, Alec, thank you for coming. Taylor, thank you for bringing him. Now let's see what... Who, we could bring who, out of this. Who did you think this kid was coming to me? Do you, you think like I know exactly uh, was... how you are. Okay. Believe, but I All thought right. for me, uh -huh. you would have just bit your tongue a little. What set this... you off? Was there something that set you off that I missed? There was one thing that that was said that turned my stomach is that when he said to me, I didn't even know she had a father. You're not really somebody that's around, you know, that I she's I'm not around? The, as far as I know. It hurt to hear I didn't even know you were. Around, I didn't know you. Of course, were that's gonna hurt. Okay, so that hurt me. I'm trying my hardest to live a normal I life. I see that you're trying. You know, I just so keep getting what jammed up. Let's do it the right way this time. I'd like to know where you are and not call you and can't find you. I'm 22, I'm getting older. I'd like one day for you to walk me down the aisle if I do get married. Let's just do the right thing this time. I'm exhausted. I really am. I'm sorry for the way I've been the last. Eight years. I mean, for so many years, I, I I was on the right side of the street, and and one day, I just went right back to the wrong side of the street. I didn't put you first. I didn't put Joseph first. I didn't put Matthew first. I know things could be better, and as a young girl, I'm getting emotional. Stop it, baby girl. Stop. Stop. I love you, baby. Stop. You know, there's not nothing I wouldn't do for you. It breaks my heart to think of my daughter crying. Things are all gonna get better. I yes. Promise you. <sighs> I really hope that when I speak to Taylor that she takes something out of it, even if it's just a little bit. I'm trying as hard as I can. We're just, we're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna fix this, rekindle it, do the right thing, where we don't have to talk about the past. I was telling Matt, like, one of my dreams is just for all of us to get together and have dinner. I would love to be able to have a relationship with your mom where your mom could come over and sit down and and I just want to be around you guys. I hear that and um, makes me happy. Um, but you have to understand, mommy met someone. She seems very happy with him. Um, uh -huh. I mean, where did they meet? Is he from Staten Island? Is he from Brooklyn? Is he uh, somebody that I might... I believe they met through mutual friends. Your mom just came back to Staten Island. I, I also don't want to see your mother jammed up again and this guy not be in her life three, four months from now. Let's just I don't live know. in the moment. She's happy. I'm happy. I'm happy for her until something happens where I don't see her happy anymore. I like this guy. Let's focus on you and I. Let's meet this guy. Where is he? What is it's he running late? Because you're always time. running late to everything. It seems like he's late. Must, but that's normal for me. Common. Maybe he doesn't want to come. He stood us up. He stood us up. I told him, I told him he didn't have to pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so maybe he's definitely coming then. Well, I'll tell you right from the bat, nothing like we know. 
no street guy, no troublemaker. Something totally opposite than what we're That's all what you need in life. That's the guy you I'm need. I'm trying to go a different route. Is he nervous? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm nervous. I know. Got my son here, hothead. Yeah. No, head, no you know? he's got nothing to be nervous about. It. I just want to make sure, you know, that he treats you right. And if he's not treating you right, then, you know, you got to kick him to the rock. You're going to answer to you? He doesn't have to answer to me, <laughs> no. I just want the best for you, that's all. Right. Hey, well, handsome. Oh, the man of the hour. Hello? What's up, brother man? This is Joe. 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 Nice to meet you. Joe. Nice to meet you. Taylor. Pleasure, brother man. It's Taylor. Taylor. Let me step Twin off this way. Hey, Taylor. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're so beautiful. Your mother. Oh, oh. Good looking guy right here, huh? Yeah, right? Why do you want to How old is this guy, 20? George Clooney? I wish. Really? Does, I hate right? I say that. Who? Do they? George Clooney. My hair. Yeah. So what's your full name? Is Izzy? It's short for Isidoro. Sounds like a uh, Greek, Greek warrior. Yeah, everybody says Greek. I'm actually 100% Sicilian, right off the boat from the other side. Wow. I'm from, I was born in Sicily. Old school. Old school. Old school. Old school, old school the best school. school. You look so cute together. Uh, together. Uh, do we? <laughs> do we really? Yeah. George Clooney? <laughs> She's a good woman, my mother. So treat her right. Uh, oh yeah, tell her so laying down the boat. <laughs> I do want to make her right. smile and happy. I think Izzy, I would tell you right now, he fits right in with us. He's crazy a little bit, sense of humor, you know, good style. Oh, Jessica got her groove back. <laughs> she got it back. <laughs> yep. And baby got back. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I didn't get here yet. You know, the 80s in Brooklyn, Park Slope, it was drugs, alcohol, and violence. That's all we do. You left your fingerprints on my heart. So I get severe anxiety when I go to my old neighborhood, but I'm also looking forward to showing Joseph and Taylor a household that I came from. What's up, guys? Dad, what the hell are we doing out here? I don't know. I just thought we meet up, talk a little. It's so Ooh, good to see you. and I have a spray tan on it. I really wanted you guys to come to Brooklyn and, uh, you know, come back to the old neighborhood. I wanted you guys to know where your roots are. No, this is a vibe right here. Yeah, really. This is, you know, the new Park Slope. Uh, that we used to call it uh, Junkie Hill. <laughs> you know, it was a totally different neighborhood when I grew up here in the 80s. Your mom keeps telling me that you guys are asking her questions about your grandfather. Let's take a walk and I'll show you where he used to live. This was Poppy's little hideout, huh? 50 years he, he wow. hid here. Oh my God. Wow. He never had any mail delivered here or anything. If anybody was looking for him, they would come to Nanny's yeah. apartment. So he but was staying here when Nanny was over there? Uh, he would, yeah, his, my whole life, he lived in this, this building right here. The ground floor was his apartment until I was about 10. I got a lot of, a lot of good memories here and a lot of bad memories here, but I, I'd idea. love to be able to ring that doorbell and uh, see him, you know? Yeah, right? It's been a long time since he's passed. What they used to call him again, you say? Wild Bill. Wild, Wild Bill, right? Bill. <laughs> Wild Bill. How did Poppy get the name Wild Bill? Because he, he was a psychopath. He was out of his mind. Why do they call me the name they call me? Cast. Billy Cast? Billy Cast, yeah. Is that because you read people in casts? I. I plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. <laughs> Dad, I know it's a weird question, but did Poppy ever kill somebody? Poppy has killed. I mean, I don't know how many people he's killed, but I, I know of at least two people. Your grandfather killed his own brother. Beat him with a baseball bat. Wow. My life as a child was terrifying, but I'm still making mistakes, and this is why I always told you, learn from my mistakes like I learned from my father's mistakes. I mean, I know from growing up the way I did. When it comes to my children, I really want them to better their lives. They're great kids. They could be anything they want to be. I blame myself for a lot of the stuff that you guys went through, especially you. I wish I could have, you know, gave you everything that you wanted, you know, and oh. been there all the time. Man. But, you we know. still have a lot more time to, you know? Yeah. yeah still is, a lot this, more time. This. I think it's time to move forward. I'm not holding any grudges. Well, I still make mistakes, and I'm not perfect, but, you know, you're my kids, and I love you. My dream for our relationship would be... <laughs> I just want us to be a family. That's why I love you. I love you, Christian. I want you guys to do the best thing for yourselves.
Love you.